Hi there, my name is Lei Yang. I'm from the product and solutions marketing team here at Tentry. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plan new VM deployments and get your data protection policy adjusted in just a few minutes. Now imagine I'm the virtualization admin for your company who just acquired a new startup. I was asked to deploy developer machines, hopefully on the existing storage. Now, I need to quickly figure out if I have enough capacity and performance to support the growth of these new workloads. Or somehow, magically, I need to find some extra budget. Now, let's get to the demo. OK, so I just log on to Tentry Analytics, which is a SaaS platform that pr provides predictive analytics for 31 of my storage arrays. And I'm interested to put the new workloads on the off-flash array for higher performance. Now, look like this machine has enough space and IO performance left, um, even if there are other 139 live VMs running on it. Most of them are developer Linux machines, and I have a few production databases uh, running on it too. Now, I can drill down through the details for trends and uh, look at the average VM profile, but today, let me go straight to the planner. Looks like I've done down my planning right. Um, I have enough resources well into the future. Um, and uh, I'm supposed to onboard these uh, developer machines on May 1st. And let me see what happens when I deploy some new VMs on my box. Now this um, Linux, developer Linux machine is pretty large because it needs some frequent refreshes and copy data management from the production databases. So if I were to put 50 of these on this off-flash box, I pretty much run out of capacity right away. Now, how can I fix this? Let me first save this plan. And then let me look at the detailed trends on the workload to see what happens. Let me zoom into the past six months also data. If I click on the without snapshots, Oh, I see that I have a lot of local snaps stored on the system. In some cases, it takes up almost seven terabyte of my precious off-flash array capacity. Looks like I find the culprit. So let's take a look at what kind of data protection policy it has. So let's switch to the Tentry Global Center UI and click on the service groups to take a look at the protection that have these DB Gold um, policy. Now, if I quickly go to configure the protection policy, I see that, oh, it's only taking uh, local snaps and not doing replication. And they're keeping about 72 um, hours of local snaps with RPO 15 minute. That is equivalent to about 300 snaps per database VM, and that's a lot. So um, I don't blame the heavy snapshotting that's pretty much needed to protect this production database. However, it'd be much nice if it gets replicated to a secondary site um, and free up some space on the local off-flash array. So if I change the retention policy to 12 hours local and 160 hours, which is about a week um, remote, because now I can afford to keep um, some of the uh, backups in my secondary location using Tentry replication. Now, let me hit the save. So now I should be good to go. But let me just go back to the plan and double check that everything is fine. If um, I'm going to, looks like I'm going to save 7 terabyte of uh, snapshots. And that's about equivalent to 25 of developer machines. Now, if I want to simulate that, and I can reduce the number of uh, VMs to deploy from 50 to 25, 50 to 25. And with that, I can see that I can have a lot more space for growth um, and support this uh, new workloads well beyond my next budget cycle. Thank you. OK, I just walked through a typical scenario that some of you might have encountered in the past. Instead of spending hours on planning, and still end up with surprises. Find out how easy it is for Tintry to help you simplify your life and deliver public cloud agilities in your data center. Thanks for watching.